First off, I guess I need to apologize. We haven't got a lot of great reviews on the last video, which is uh, episode 10. So we're shooting this one to maybe make up for our uh, problems or, or you guys not liking it. Uh, I did want to address a few things. One, uh, I don't know if the video properly captured how we felt. Um, we actually weren't living here at the time. Uh, we do now, but we weren't living here at the time. So we knew there were big storms. We were definitely nervous from afar. And when we showed up, we saw this and there's a picture actually that I just can't find. I don't, you know, I can blame, you know, my phone or whatever, but it actually has Christy with her head in her hands crying. Uh, it was a really big deal to show up here and find out that this place had flooded. I mean, just imagine we've been working on it for about over six months, tens of thousands of dollars in opening it and doing work in here. And it was just really disheartening. And this isn't dramatic. We actually thought about giving up. It just, it just hits you and you're like, okay, should we really just throw in the towel and not do anything with it? Um, <clears throat> a few other comments that I saw, you know, why did we not prepare for it? Uh, one of the reasons we didn't prepare for it is because we couldn't afford to. The only way to properly prepare is to build the access portal back up above the surface. And the quote we had at the time was about $12,000 to do that. Keep in mind, this is two feet thick of concrete, 16 feet by 14 feet. Um, you know, you have a 35 foot hole, so you have to build a subfloor in there just so people can work on it. So it wasn't just a trivial thing to build that back up. And with pumps, uh, you know, if the electricity goes out, which is what we think happened, we think a combination of just a lot of water and the electricity going out, a backup generator is really expensive. So really the truth is it was just too much money and it's a risk. And we continue to take that risk for a long time until we got it built back up. Um, I do want to, uh, you know, some of you were saying that, you know, we're leaving you in a cliffhanger. The truth is, is that, yeah, I could do probably, you know, Sam and I could get together and we could spend a couple weeks editing a full length feature on what we did. And maybe we do that one day. But we're doing this in episodes, not to string you guys along, but because a few things. One, we have a whole bunch of raw footage that takes us time every week. Uh, it takes us time to edit it. But in the meantime, we're also working on this thing. This isn't done. So it's not like I have this beautiful place that's all done and you know we're living in here and just stringing you guys along. The other reason we're doing episodes like this is because it gives us time to get more work done, which Sam and I are actually doing today. We're getting some stuff done uh, that we're recording for a future episode. But again, this episode was, I know it was only two minutes long, but it was a really big deal to us that it's really, again, it was disheartening. We thought we weren't going to continue with the project. And, you know, I could have made it a one hour episode like, you know, they do on reality TV, but we didn't think we needed that. The, we didn't record anything of it. We didn't have any video. We just had a few pictures after the fact. So there wasn't a lot of content. I don't like stringing you guys along, uh, you know, with more content than is necessary. Um, so the missile silo flooded. And again, it was six months before we even got back in there because we wanted to get stuff done. But again, once you drain it, uh, we were in a really, really wet year. So we knew that we were going to have to wait for it to dry up, at least the weather, and get some more money together before we could still work on the project. By the way, another thing is when you build that access portal back up, it doesn't sound like it, but then all of a sudden your stairs, your ladder, you know, ingress, egress, getting things in and out. Uh, we still need to scrap this place. We need to get all this junk out of here and adding that extra 12 feet or so makes it logistically much more difficult. So it's not just a, you know, hey, let's just build it back up. Let's just spend the 10 grand and that's nice and easy. It's a, there's a lot more complication to it than just doing that. So I do appreciate everybody watching, Sam and I, Christy, Shelby. Uh, this is a big deal to us. We love you guys out there. Uh, you know, it's, it's important to us that you like what we're doing. But again, we're not professionals at this. We're trying to make a cool YouTube channel and we're doing the best we can. But I appreciate you guys sticking with us. We appreciate it very much. Uh, thank you again. And I think we're going to shoot the episode for next week here in just a few minutes. Thanks a lot again, and we'll see you in the next video.